Over the past week, we've had a number of former Brush Bee Digger football players share their special memories while wearing the Bee Digger uniform, along with salutes and shout-outs to this 2021 squad. Hey everybody, this is Dan Kendrick. I'll always be a Bee Digger, but I played for him from 1989 to 1992. I got so many good memories from playing. I remember different games from each year, actually, and some are games we won and some are actually games we lost. But the games that I remember the most were the playoff games and especially the state championship games. I'm so dang excited and so dang proud of these kids and what they've done and the game that they're going to play in on Saturday. And I couldn't be happier for Lance and the other coaches. What a great job they've done. It's going to be an awesome weekend and for the Brush Beat Diggers. Go Beat Diggers! Jared Spooner. I played wide receiver and deep the back for Brush from 2004 to 2000 and I graduated in 2008. My uh, probably favorite memory from high school football was the entire 2006 season. That's still the best team that I ever played with and uh, defense that year was pretty historical. Um, only allowing like six points per game that year. Um, I want to wish all the players uh, good luck this weekend in Pueblo. Um, play your tails off, leave no regret and play free-minded. Don't think too much and good things will happen. want to wish a lot of luck to the coaching staff, Coach Schwent. I um, always thought the world of you. Uh, you were my high school wide receiver coach, and you always threw rockets to us in drills and made us do a thousand up downs. I'll never forget that. And I always thought you'd be a great head coach today, and that's coming true. So good luck to Brush and the coaching staff and the players, and go be diggers. My name is Jason Strong. I'm a graduate of Brush High School, class of 1998. I played for four years under Coach Larry Mills and Coach Randy Dreitz. A special thing that all Brush Beat Diggers are issued is our Brush Pride t-shirts. I wore mine for every football game that I played in from the time I was a freshman in high school until I was a senior in college. Over a hundred plus games in total. For me, it was very special to have that Brush Pride shirt on under my pads at Western State College. And it was always something I took pride in wearing and representing Brush High School at both the high school and college level. Best of luck, beat diggers. Represent for us. What a great day to be a Brush beat digger. This is Josh Gutierrez. I was a wide receiver, running back, and defensive back for the beat diggers from 2002 to 2005. Uh, one of my favorite memories of playing for Brush was, uh, given who we're playing this weekend for the state title, is when the Eaton Reds came to town for the Patriot League Championship back in 2004. Uh, we jumped all over them. We scored early and often, and uh, we, we put them away, you know, mid-third quarter. I think we ended up winning that game 47-27. So um, I'm hoping for similar results today. I just want to wish um, all, the, all the players, all these young men, uh, um, good luck today. Just go out there and play your hearts out. And uh, I had the privilege of playing for uh, Coach Schwint as the uh, wide receivers coach and offensive coordinator when I was there. So uh, great coach, great guy. Uh, just wish nothing but the best for him. Go get him, Diggers. Hey there, Beat Digger Nation. Mikey Gutierrez here, just wishing you guys good luck for the day. I know how it feels, and I'll tell you what, it's one of the best experiences you'll ever have in your life. You're going to learn a lot about yourself, but just stick with one another and realize you guys are brothers out there and everything will be just fine. I'll be there supporting you all, and I can't wait to see how it goes. Good luck out there. My name is Arturo Maltes Garcia. I played varsity football from 2006 to 2008. And I just want to say thanks to all of the coaches from middle school to high school. I came up under Dreitz, Schwint, and Creighton. There are more, but I appreciate them for giving me the opportunity to play and then giving my little brothers that same opportunity. One of the things that is on my mind was taught to me by one of the OGs, Coach Creighton. It was that when hitting somebody high and wrapping up, you want to squeeze their back fat so hard you leave your nail marks in their back for weeks. <laughs> That's a little taste of some brush beat digger grittiness. On another note, my middle brother Arnoldo won a title in 2014, and I'm hoping Hondo gets one today. As it is every day, it's a great day to be a beat digger. Jake Brown here, graduating class of 2014. I was honestly really blessed to play with a lot of great athletes over the years. Kyle Rosenbrock, Randy Baker, Maverick Seawald. And honestly, my most fondest memories are just playing with those guys and celebrating all the wins that we had over the years. So good luck to this year's 2021 Beat Digger team in the state championship. Good luck to Jonathan Becker 
And good luck to Jace Krieger. Go Bee Diggers. My name is Alex Peterson. Played with Fresh Football the 2011 through the 2014 seasons and had the opportunity to play on the 2014 state championship team. Some of my greatest memories come from just being able to run out on the field every Friday night or Saturday afternoon in your Brush Pride half shirt and just represent all the pride and tradition behind Brush Football. There is no greater feeling really in any other sport than playing in Friday night football for Brush or Saturday afternoon in the playoffs. Some of my greatest game memories have to be in the 2014 state championship game. There was one play late in the fourth quarter as Kent Denver was driving to tie it up. And we tackled them. No one could really tell if they were short or if they had got it. They had to bring out the chain for measure. John, I think you referred to that as the biggest measurement in Brush High School history. When they did bring them out, Kent Denver was short. And just hearing the crowd kind of erupt and go crazy was a feeling that I'll never forget. Another one, big one from that game was the back-to-back -back goal line stand. We held them on fourth and goal. We had four opportunities at it. We held them. And then on first down, when we got the ball back, we gave it right back to them, putting ourselves in a tough spot. They had the ball at the one, had just ran four plays, and they had four more chances. We held them, again, on all four downs, made the tackle on fourth down, and just hearing the crowd and how loud it was, they didn't really think that B Digger Stadium could get that loud and haven't ever really heard it that loud. So it was, that was crazy and just some of the greatest feelings that you'll ever have came from Brush Football. To everyone this year, coaching staff, Coach Swint, all the players, good luck. I know how much work and time you guys have put into it. I just want to give you guys a special shout out for kind of restoring the pride and tradition behind Brush Football, bringing the tradition back and just being able to build the name back up that brush football is and was. Good luck, guys, and go get it. Hi, this is Rich Gutierrez, member of the 1982 State Football Champions, the very first state football champions for Brush High School. I'll never forget being able to play in the two state championship football games and being able to win the state title my senior year. Those memories you never forget. I am now the head coach for the Brush Middle School football team. And I can remember coaching today's senior class back when they were in the middle school. And what's ironic is, Coach Schwint was my assistant back then. We learned early on this was going to be a great football class along with all the other underclassmen. So I want to wish the best of luck to the 2021 Brush Beat Diggers. And go Diggers, take state. This is Kevin Strau from the class of 2000. Wanted to thank the team for having such a great year and let them know the community is super proud of them and good luck. This is Brent Cleason, Brush Beat Digger linebacker for the 97-98 season. I see a lot of similarities between this year's team and the team in 98. We came into week five, two and two on the ropes and we came together as a team and ended up running the table the rest of the regular season, actually beating Eaton the last regular season game Going into the playoffs, we ended up facing Eaton in the semifinals. And with seconds to go in that game, my, my greatest memory is they lined up for a field goal that would have, you know, inevitably won the game. And I just remember Junior Flores coming off the edge like a lightning bolt and blocking that field goal, uh, sealing the game for us. Good luck today, Diggers, and go out and bring that trophy back to Brush. This is uh, Kyle Okuson from the Brush Beat Diggers class of 2001. In late October 1999, during Coach Mills' last season, we found ourselves in a somewhat similar position as the Diggers do this weekend as an underdog versus Eaton. We only had about a 500 record, and Eaton was highly ranked with only one loss that season versus Fort Morgan, who were uh, killing everyone that year with Joel Dreesen and Dusty Quick. Our 99 team had some pretty good athletes, though, too. I remember Kevin Strau was a monster at fullback. Adam Bullinger and Danny Blake anchored our lines. Tyler Treadway and Bill Munt were four formidable DBs, and it was Freyoff's first year at quarterback. That Friday night, we came out and punched Eaton in the face and uh, never really looked back. We ended up beating him 23-7, to cementing what I think is some great trivia about the matchup. Uh, Coach Mills uh, finished his career only losing once to Eaton. 
Anyway, I want to wish uh, Coach Swint and the guys this year good luck and to keep up that historical dominance versus Eaton. And uh, I want to thank you, John, for doing this and all that you've done for the past 20 years for Brush Athletics. You make it fun and easy to follow and root for the diggers on social media for past beat diggers like me near and far. Bradley Bass, class of 2009. I was lucky enough, like a lot of former players, to play at a time that was really successful for the beat diggers. So on behalf of those former players, I just want to tell this current group how thankful and proud of you we are that you have added to that long uh, storied success of beat digger football. You guys have done a great job. We can't wait to watch you guys go out and beat a rival today and end the season and add another chapter to this wonderful program. So go beat diggers, beat the Reds. Hi, Mr. Beltran. First off, thank you and KSIR, all the staff, all the volunteers for all you do for DHS athletics and beat digger football. My name's Chad Moon Cox. I played from 85 through 88. Tons of memories from the, from the journey, witnessing the state championship undefeated team as a freshman. Um, playoffs all four years. I didn't make varsity until I was a senior. Uh, then started, made all conference. Uh, many, many memories of all the teammates and all the awesome times. I remember Virgil Griffith, man in the boombox, um, and all the music on our trips. Uh, I remember the team dinner after the first playoff uh, win our senior year in, in Valley down the road to Fort Lupton at the Branding Iron. Uh, you'll never forget Coach Mills and, and his unique voice, and you knew when you heard this you were in trouble. Take a lap and keep running until I tell you to stop. Uh, it's been awesome to watch this <clears throat> group of of, of seniors and, and the entire team and the journey they've been on and all the dedication they put in from the off season through through continuing to work hard to be better and, and put themselves where they are. Best of luck. Uh, go Beat Diggers and win that title. Hey Beat Diggers, this is Matt Ely. I had the privilege to play quarterback in Brush from 2001 to 2004. Tons of great memories I recall growing up watching the Diggers play to being able to strap on the pads once I got to high school. But given the circumstances today, my favorite moment was when we played Eaton for the Patriot League Championship in 2004, and we absolutely beat the brakes off of them. The three previous years, we had lost to them pretty badly, so we had a lot of built-up frustration at that point in time. It was great to get out there and put the Reds back in place. Best of luck today, diggers, players, and coaches. Go get that title and take it back to brush. Matt Manier, class of 2003. I also had the privilege of being a coach from 2008 to 2013. I wanted to wish all the players and coaches good luck on Saturday. We'll never get old having a hometown kid making a deep playoff run, even from all the way out here in Iowa. It's truly unique to have a community that is fully behind its teams and a team who responds with their heart and competitive drive. Good luck to all the diggers this weekend. And a special good luck to my good friend, Coach Schwent. Go Brush. Hey everyone, this is Jane Peterson. I played football for the Beat Diggers from 2012 to 2016 and had the honor to be the kicker for that memorable 2014 state championship team. I just want to wish the 2021 Beat Digger football team good luck. Bring that trophy home, baby. Let's go. Hey, Beat Digger country. This is Tom Odell coming at you with uh, three guys I played football with in the 83 season when we ended up runner-up. We've got Scott Haskins, Kurt Garbin, and Greg Woodward on this one. Scott, what do you got for us? Hey, Tom. Thanks for the opportunity. Go Diggers. Hey, I want to share a memory uh, here, and it was uh, the 1983 season of the fall, and Rush went into uh, Trinidad. We were underranked. Uh, we were underweight, everything, and um, uh, it was pretty intimidating, pretty hostile environment going into Trinidad, and uh I just remember getting escorted on the field by the uh, sheriffs. And uh, by the time the game started, we were all pretty uh, frazzled. Um, but the game started, and I remember it's about the third series or second series. Um, we were moving the ball on them, and uh, we were stuffing them on defense. And I specifically remember coming to the huddle, and I said to the team, I said, hey, these guys are nothing. We're going to beat them. We're going to beat them. And when the final buzzer went off, uh, it was brush 31. Uh, Trinidad 7. Uh, we had to get escorted off the field again, and we just got out of town. But that was just such a memorable moment to be, again, the underdog in that game and to come out winners. And uh, what a great opportunity to play for Brush High School and just love their tradition there. Absolutely. Kurt Garvin, what do you got for us? Oh, well, go take it to them, diggers. Um, it's been quite a while, but it feels like only a year ago. 
these opportunities don't come around very often. So make the most of it. Um, like I said, it's uh, I've, I've coached in the Brush School District as well as, as well as Fort Morgan and up in the Steamboat area. And you try to influence the other kids coming up um, what it's like to experience going to a state championship game and being a part of that, win or lose. But very, very, very few kids in the high school region um, ever get to experience that. So tomorrow's another day or Saturday's another day. Take your guys' game to it and do the best you can. Best of luck, diggers. And now you get to hear from Greg Woodward. What do you got, Greg? Hey, guys. Uh, go diggers. Uh, do what you know you're supposed to do out there. I think Kurt said it quite well, is that uh, the experience that you're going to have here is one that you'll never forget. It's actually uh, one that uh, helps form who you are and helps uh, just uh, your, you and who, who you are or be, who you become, rather. One of the things that uh, really came out in uh, the experiences that I had was uh, Scott said we were an underdog, we were playing Denison. And we were pretty much losing the entire game. And then Coach Mills decided to send in a play that we had practiced, I don't know, probably 30 or 40 times a week before, which was a tight end reverse pass. And either myself, who was the tight end, or the receiver, Big Chartier, completed any of those passes. And we all looked over at Coach and just shook our heads. But put our heads down, ran the play, pass was completed. We scored a touchdown. And it I think at the end of the game, Tom ended up kicking the winning field goal to was ahead of Gennison. So it's a challenge every play. Um, fight till you can't fight anymore and leave everything on the field. Go Diggers. Yes, guys, those are great memories. The one I want to talk about is our, our home championship game when we had to call it off the week before because we had, I don't know, 18, 24 inches of snow. And so Florence had to go back home and then they came back the next week to play. and. And the one thing that always sticks out to me is we finished that game up. We ended up losing it 14 to 21. But I remember the fog rolled in. We couldn't see the scoreboard. And the officials had to keep the official clock on the field. And, you know, at the end of the game, we were pushing to score. And, and just basically kind of running around there like crazy, trying to figure out how much time was left on the clock and everything. And, and that was one of my memories. And I tell you what, we're great it's a great area to grow up in and to be a beat digger this time of year. And, and you know, we're used to practicing on Thanksgiving and, and it's just a great tradition. And boys, I hope you guys carry it on and go get us another state title. Good luck, diggers. This is Nick Wellen. I am a 2020 graduate of Brush High School. One of my favorite memories from Brush football is Coach Schwent throwing his scout cards in the air out of frustration and playing scout team receiver because nobody else would volunteer to do it. I'd like to wish the boys good luck this weekend. I've played with many of you guys and I've seen the work you put in to reach this point. It's awesome to see the impact this team has had on the community. Go get them today, boys, and how about them beat diggers? It's a great day to be a beat digger. Mitch Tremolin here, class of 2013. Just wanted to congratulate all the players and coaches on a great season they have put together this year. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication. I want to give, you, give a quick shout out to Coach Schwint, one of my favorite coaches I've ever played for. So many great memories and stories with Schwint. Excited for him and his team to have this moment well deserved. Good luck this weekend, boys. Enjoy the moment and have fun out there. I'll be listening in from Montana. Go Diggers. Hello, this is Jason Mills, Beat Digger class of 1993. I was lucky to be a part of three state championship games, runners up in 1990 and 1991, and winning the state championship in 1992. This year's team reminds me a lot of our state championship team in 1992, with a large senior class, a strong offensive running game, the ability to throw it when we needed to, and a really strong defense holding opponents a few points in this playoff. My senior year in the championship game in 1992, we played Burlington. I didn't have my best game, had a couple of turnovers, but our defense hung tough and held a really strong Burlington Cougars running attack to very few yards. We were able to pull out the win. The old adage, defense wins championships, was never truer. This year's team has a lot of seniors, kids that play hard throughout the whole game and really want to show that crush pride. Good luck to Coach Lance and the team this year. Bring home trophy number six. Go Diggers. This is Kyle Rosenbrock, a member of the 2014 State Football Championship team. Uh, some beat digger memories that I'll never forget would be our goal line stands in the state championship game against Kent Denver. 
Denton Denver got the ball down to the one yard line and our defense held firm to stop them four plays in a row. Uh, we got the ball back, backed up in the end zone and our quarterback, Baby Maltos, saw something inaudible to Q QB sneak. Uh, unfortunately, he fumbled the snap and gave the ball right back to them. And so uh, they had four more plays on the one yard line and sure enough, our defense stopped them. Uh, that those two goal line spins ended up being the difference in the game as we won 14 to six. Um, so best of luck to Brush as you take on Eaton the state championship this weekend. I'm sure it'll be a great day to be a beat digger. Go Brush. Thanks to all of the former Brush beat digger football players who shared their memories and sent out their shout outs to this 2021 beat digger football team.